Hi, this is Sans from Payroll Hero. In this video, you will learn how compensations are added for your employees. Compensation can be set hourly, daily, or monthly, and the amount you put works together with a pay mode set. For example, if you added a monthly amount in the compensations page, but the employee is hourly paid, the system will use the days per year and the amount of hours to calculate their hourly wage. There are two ways to add compensation. The first way is done based on position, and the second can be done individually. In this video, I'll show you how it's done based on position. So, what is the advantage of setting up a position-based compensation? It can be done for multiple employees under the same position, so it's faster and easier. For example, you can add compensation for a team of accountants who have the same compensation level or package. Remember, any compensation changes made on the positions level will show up on all employee profiles assigned to that position, as long as the individual compensation page has not been overridden. Now, let me show you how to set up a position-based compensation. So first, go to the settings page. Then, go to Positions. Then, click on the employee position that you'd like to add compensation for. Then, click Details. So, this is the compensation grid. You can set the base pay here. Let me put an example here. Now you can use monthly, hourly, or daily. If you use month, make sure that on the employee profile, their pay mode is also set to either monthly or salary. If you use hour or day, make sure that on the employee profile, their pay mode is set to hourly. Now here you set the number of days per year that the position should be working. This will affect the calculation of the hourly and monthly rates. So 261 days per year is commonly used for employees working from Monday to Friday, while 313 days is used for those working from Monday to Saturday. Here, set the number of hours per day that should be worked for the position. This affects the calculation of the hourly and monthly rates. Remember that the default hours per day follows the hours you've set on the employee types. For more details on employee types, you can visit our knowledge base. Oh, and please note that there's a formula for converting monthly to hourly. And that is monthly rate times 12 months in a year divided by 52 weeks in a year divided by number of days worked per week divided by the number of hours worked per day. And to get the monthly rate, you divide the yearly salary by 12 months in a year. Now over here, you have the allowances that you can set amounts here if you have any for that position. And over here at the right, you have the vacation credit accrual rate. So this is expressed as a percentage. For example, if you have five days of vacation per year, that is equal to around a week or so of vacation pay. And to get that, you divide one week over 52 weeks in a year times 100 and you get 2%. So this means that 2% of gross pay will be banked as vacation pay. The amount accumulated by the vacation pay goes to a bank and later can be paid out to the specific employee as a payment, or uh, uh, rather the specific position as a payment. Please do visit our knowledge base to learn more about vacation pay and vacation bank. And once you're done, remember to click Update. And that's how to add compensation based on position on Payroll Hero. For more information and details, please check out our knowledge base at support.payrollhero.com. If you have any questions, you can reach us at support at Thanks for watching!